Oh no! Not your favourite ABBA cassette! Time for some audio intervention! Let's get everything multimedia super with how to upgrade your head unit in three easy steps. What you'll need. For this, you'll be using the latest and greatest multimedia head unit, which will slot straight into this vehicle. Take your time choosing one, there's lots on the market. Vehicles with integrated sound systems will also require a fascia kit. It's also worth having some ready-made wiring harnesses because soldering can be tricky and we want this to be super easy. Some of these fascias and harnesses will be available on the shelves at Super Cheap Auto. Others can be ordered in. Finally, you'll need some simple tools. A screwdriver set, a trim remover set, spanners and a socket set. The first step is to remove your old head unit. Like any electrical job, start with disconnecting the negative battery terminal. Back inside your vehicle, you'll need to remove the trim surrounding your old head unit. Search carefully for any screws that can be hidden underneath or even behind an ashtray. Some vehicles will need a radio removal tool. Don't worry, we have those too. If there are no screws, pry gently at the surrounding trim with the trim removal tool. Search again for fasteners if you encounter resistance. The trim will eventually pull away with perhaps a couple of switches to be unplugged. No need to label them, they can only go back one way. A couple of screws is usually all that holds the old head unit in place. Then it can be unplugged and placed aside. Before you fill the gaping hole in your car with multimedia goodness, it's time for the next step, preparing your dash. Start by grabbing those wiring harnesses you picked up. One connects to the factory wiring loom coming out of your vehicle. The other is tailored to your new head unit. They both link up in the middle and it's literally impossible to get them wrong. You may also have adapters for radio antenna, steering wheel controls and a microphone for your new head unit. Mount this as close as possible to the driver's head. Some brackets may need to come across from the old head unit. If you've purchased a fascia kit, there may be some parts that come into use here too. Now for step three, installing your new head unit. Plug everything in. No soldering, no tape, no sparks, super easy. To test everything's working, poke your head back under the bonnet, reconnect your battery, then choose something to listen to. No judgment. No judgment. No judgment. No judgment. If it sounds good, super. Better to check for any problems now than when it's all back together. Next, pop your factory trim or your brand new fascia in place around the head unit. Replace any screws you've taken out and hide any that you've left over. And that's it, your new head unit sorted. Like going from the symphony orchestra through a paper cup to sitting in the front row seat. A new head unit will help make every drive super. Find detailed instructions and more videos to help you make it super at Super Cheap Auto Super DIYs.